So, Sarah, can you introduce yourself? I'm Sarah Chu. Okay. So, what's your work here? Okay, so right now I'm working with GISNET, with Caltech. GISNET, but. As a secretary. Okay, but. It's for the outdoor and supply capacity. Okay, alright, so. Like she's talking about outgrowers, so I got to know her through this outgrowing stuff. Uh, Agri is not my kind of field, but this year we are deciding to you know start cultivating cassava and other stuff. And we go here, and she was kind to her. They took us through all their formalities here, been able to know about whatever they're doing here. And today she's taking me around. But what you were talking about, maybe somebody, maybe somewhere you watching may not know what is actually all that we are saying here is about. So kindly explain to us as to what is being done when it comes to the outgrowing issue. The outgrowing issue, so mm -hmm. um, we are looking for people who farm for it, who farm cassava for it. Okay. So you farm your cassava, if you don't have a land, feed the land as a food waste, and then you take the money at the end of the time. Okay. If you don't have plant food material, provide enough plant food material, you plow for it as a food waste, and take everything at the end of the time. So as time goes on, like in three months, one month, three months, five months, the past might have come to check the food for the cassava. We need a day of um, conversation about your food or anything before it will give you advice for you. Alright, so you made mention of we don't have a land. Yeah. Uh, meaning, if should maybe me here, if I need a place to farm, you, your outfit will be able to give me a place to farm. Yes, you can come and see. Okay. We'll give you a place to come. Okay. At the full week. So it's like you're renting it, but you don't take the money at the moment. So take the money at the end of the harvest. Wow. And we get the money from the sales. So, so they are giving you several offers. They are going to give you a land at a cool fee, and they are also going to, you know, bring their tractor to come and plow the land for you. Yeah. Which all you, you, if you decide to pay upright, fine. But then if you don't have the cash to, you know, Pay right away, they would be able to do everything for you, in exception of the labor. I think the labor spring and other activities, or yes, in exception. yeah, so in exception of that, they will do all those activities for land, plowing of the land, and what have you. I think they'll provide the materials too. So, once you are done with the farming and the season is due for harvesting, uh, they will come and you sit, you know, the big table. You are going to sit around the big table and you do your deductions and calculations and the community. And, Whatever is due them, they take out of the money. But it's going to be based on what is calculated or what they know that you will be able to spend on the farm. Or I hope I'm right. So it's a, it's a cool deal and we also want to engage their service. So apart from those things, what other things you will do again? So that's for, for now, that's, that is what we do here in this office. Okay. Yes, but the things I showed you around, that is alcohol production. Okay. So, Said, uh -huh. So I understand you guys produce ethanol here. Yeah, so what do you send them to? So it's been sold out to anybody at all. If you want to buy um, one drum, we send it to you. If you want to buy, let's say, um, liters, we send it to you. If you want to buy one drum, we send it to you. So you just heard it all. In. I think I've had enough from here. <laughs> she has been good to me. I'm grateful. It's Sarah, so she's going to help me. She's here to take me around. So she's going to show me things that they are doing. It's due to the sound, so we are not going to hear maybe for the most of the voices, but hey, this is what we're going to do this afternoon. Folks, so today I'm at Cartec Ventures. So, uh, this is a company that like, they are into cassava cultivation where they process their cassava to so many stuffs, of which I will not be best to tell because it's, it's not my work. I'm just here to you know, do this video. So, I have with me yeah, my very good friend Sarah. Uh, so she will introduce herself and she's going to tell us as to what they are doing in this company here. That's going to take place. So Sarah. Uh -huh. So I'm Sarah Chu and this is our Okay. So what you, we are at the moment is the milling section. Okay. So we can see the production is all going. So this is the hopper. Okay. This is the hopper. Is it, the, this is the what? The hopper. Hopper. Oh, okay. yeah, so before the cassava gets here, it's been uploaded okay. on the milling so 
you are, but the hopper, what's the work of the hopper? So the hopper is to like contain the cassava that will be transferred to the pillar. Okay. Yeah, so first of all, the casual workers will load the cassava on the floor and put the hopper. Okay. So they do that manually. So like you say, they are going to load this cassava you see here, right? All these ones will be loaded by the workers you see here. So this will be put into this hopper. They call this whole thing hopper. So what the hopper is going to do is it's the cassava is going to move from here. So I think this is the starting point of it. So it moves from here. And this is the machine that is this going is the conveyor. Oh okay. It's called the dry conveyor. Oh. So it converts like conveys the dry cassava from the hopper to the pillar. Oh. So you are saying so what she's trying to tell her is that this is what is conveying the cassava you see here to the how do you call that one? That's the pillar. To the pillar. So it will be converted from here to the pillar. So that's the whole machine you see here. And I think there's another yeah, part so there. So from the pillar, uh -huh. it gets to the washer. That okay. is the washer. All Production right. is ongoing, so we can't go, go closer to the I think we can go there. Okay, alright. So let's go there and check what she's trying to talk about. So like we are going to climb this to the top, right? So I'm, I'm climbing, so let's see what's going to happen. Okay, alright. Okay, here we are. So that's the washer. Okay. The pillar. The pillar, you can't go through. Oh okay. Yeah, so this is the washer, you can't take a survival. Alright, so this is what is the use washes the cassava here, yeah, so yeah, so you are seeing it so the washing is being done here and all in the same company and i understand this is a pillar they said production is ongoing so we can't get anywhere closer to it so we don't want to be filled up so, okay, so uh, from the washer there's this conveyor this is the wet conveyor so it conveys okay. the wet cassava from here to the rasper okay so this also has to be converted through this tunnel to the what, what's the name again rasper Oh, okay, there are technical terms to come on, so uh, if you all don't, don't be disturbed when I, I can't pronounce them. But I'm seeing another machine down there. How about that one? Oh, okay, so we are going down to see what's also there. That means I mean that machine. We will be going to that machine. So this is the down of the pillar. So I think these are some of the debris from the, the cassava. So when it's after peeling, this is what you see here. So these are the debris you see on the floor here. So this is beneath the pillar. Yeah, she's here with me, she's smiling, so 
she's good, she's taking it around. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah. This is the pipe she's talking about. So this is where it's most true. Uh -huh. And comes here. I think it's going to. Uh -huh. Okay. So what what's the name of this machine? This is the machine tank. Oh, okay, so this is the machine tank. So what about I think the machine is already done. This is slurry tank. Slurry. So oh okay. Slurry so that means going to slice, is it that no, way? Slurry. Oh slurry, we say slurry mean is is um in a porridge form. Okay. Yes. And this is a machine tank. M A S H I N G machine. Okay. So here we call it whatever is here, we call it mash. Wow. Yes. So it's like we want to match because you know, the content we want, like we want in a way, that was what I was saying, like in the porridge form. Okay. So when it gets here, the entrance is added to it over here, you can see the entrance to the gallon. This is the entrance to the gallon. So what, what do you do this one? This one, it converts the slide. Wow, okay. So this is the slide. So she's explaining, this, this is our technical terms, come on, it's not my field. <laughs> so, She's helping us with the explanation. So, what, what the enzyme in here is called alpha amylase. What is called what? Alpha amylase. Alpha amylase. 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 Yes. So or alpha amylase. Yes. Okay. And the same thing is added over there. Guys, this is like scientific terms. Come on, like. <laughs> so they say this is alpha amylase. Yes. I got it right. Yes. All right. So, uh, she is telling me that. See, um, what is at the top is called agitator, so oh, it's agitating the whole thing. It's oh, supposed to fix everything for it. So cooking oh, is ongoing here. Inside this tank? Yes, inside the tank. Cooking is ongoing. Okay. I, I don't know, but I think we can climb and take a video of the inside. Can I? It won't do me anything. <laughs> Alright, so I have to climb and see what's inside here. So. Oh, yeah. I'm scared anyway, but I have to do this. Come on. Alright, so this is what she's talking about. So. Ah, uh, this is nice. Uh, all right, so uh, so these are all machines. So, so. And this hour come back. She has to come and explain to all this machine what they are doing here. So, and uh, where this factory is located will surprise you to amaze you. This is located inside of Hojo, uh, Hojo. So this is about 20 to 30 minutes drive away from the 66 Artillery Regiment. So uh, this is a whole company on its own. Uh, this company has been yeah, I think close to it's almost getting to 20 years. That's almost two decades of its existence okay, here. So, so from the machine tank that I told you, uh -huh. it goes to the flash cooler. What is at the top? The long one at the top. It's called a flash cooler. So it's being cooked. The missing is also being cooked at okay. a temperature of 100 degrees. Okay. So they do whatever they have to do over there, and it's being transferred to the liquefaction tank. This is the liquefaction tank. Okay, liquefaction tank. Yeah. Liquefaction tank. Yes. So, so from there, what happens next? So from there, we assume that before it gets to the last liquefaction tank, that's the 205, then the starch has been totally converted to sugar. Wow. So that means before it gets here. Yeah, before this, it gets to the before it gets to those tank, those tank. Okay. Yeah. Yes, the starch is supposed to be converted into sugar. That is why we add the um, alpha and mylase to it. To break down the starch into sugar. Okay. Yeah, so for the liquefaction tank, mm -hmm. the lab people will check. They will check the starch gravity, everything. So when they realize that the, there is no starch here, they come they transfer it from here to the fermentation tank. So that's the fermentation tank. Which one is the fermentation? This one? No, the, the big the ones. Big ones. Wow. So how long does it take to ferment like in terms of fermentation? So it depends. Sometimes it takes when well, it takes more than 24 hours to ferment. Wow. Okay. It takes like two days or something. So over here when the when it's sent here, we add a lot of things to it before it ferment. We add yeast, glucose amylase or the side. It's called glucose amylase or sac okay. And then we add um, another this thing, um, urea. So we have a measurement we use. So when it's added to it, it's, then we close it at the top. You can go to the top so that you can check. Well, another so thing. All right, so we'll go. when we get there, I think Sarah has to show her face because we'll climb, so she's hiding behind the camera talking. 
so I, 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 I'm going to force her to climb up. But there she is. There she goes, and I'm seeing her. She's in front of me. Oh wow! So this was happening here.